Well, we are tracking, though, our two tropical systems. We've got Omar. We've got Nana. Let's go to Omar. 5 a.m. advisory. Look at the thunderstorms here and look at how far displaced to the south and east of the actual tropical storm. I mean, this wind shear is ripping this thing apart. It's forecast to hang around for the next few days. I don't know, though. I mean, this is looking terrible right now, which is not bad news, right? So here is that track and intensity forecast. And by the way, zero impact to the U.S. with this. And it's moving away from the U.S. and it stays north of Bermuda. So this is uh, overall looking to be working out. Now, a little different situation with Nana. This sits in the uh, Caribbean Sea, moving to the west here at 18 miles per hour. Winds up to 60 miles per hour. You can see that orange shading there. That is for the entire coast of Belize. Tropical storm warnings. We've got hurricane watches here. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we upgrade those watches to hurricane warnings, maybe within the next advisory or two, because we do expect this system to turn into a hurricane as it works to the west. So here's your track and intensity forecast with Nana. And as it moves to the west here, we could be looking at storm surge three to five feet across the coast of Belize. Probably not as bad for Honduras. Rainfall amounts could top eight inches. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a little more than that. That system will make landfall at some point, we think overnight Thursday uh, into uh, Friday, or I should say overnight tonight into Thursday morning, excuse me, and then weekend overnight Thursday into Friday as it hits those big mountains uh, in Mexico. There's that track for you again.